called it off five minutes in. It was, you know, we got off to a really nice start and had our offense going and, you know, thought we were guarding them pretty well. And it just, you know, that little bump in the first half where they started, we kind of lost control of them on our defensive end. Had a little spot where we didn't score for a while and, you know, got to where it was, you know, we thought it was still manageable at halftime at nine. But, uh, you know, they started making shots, you know, and it was one of those where you, the snowball was rolling and we couldn't stop it. You kept looking and, you know, hitting shots at the end of the shot clock. It's, you know, off the dribble, off the threes, all that stuff. It just, you know, they shot, what was it? They must have missed their last handful of shots. They, at one point, they were shooting almost 60% in the second half. But, you know, obviously that's a good basketball team that we played tonight, One, you know, off of the, their accomplishments last year and, and over the last several years. And, you know, we just never, you know, we just didn't have hand, our handle, uh, a handle on the game after, you know, after those first five minutes, it felt like. Open up the questions. Coach defensively, uh, held Stephanie, your senior guard, who's been outstanding all season, just four points, so four in the first half, two eleven. What were they doing that you saw specifically on her that made her uncomfortable on the offensive floor? Yeah, I think they did a good job um, bothering, you know, just getting to her in the full court to try to, to take her out of rhythm a little bit. Um, I thought, you know. There were times, you know, she, I think she just got out of the sorts where she was, uh, there was times to attack and she didn't. There were times when she needed to get the ball somewhere else and she tried to, you know, got, felt the pressure that she wasn't scoring at that time and tried to push, put herself in spots she couldn't get out of. Their defense was really good um, on pretty much on, on the penetration stuff and that's something she does well. You know, they kind of crowded us and we started trying to put the ball on the floor and then when we got to the lane, there was a lot of, a lot of hands in there trying to make it difficult, and we just couldn't get you know get clean looks for for anybody. Coach, what uh, kind of adjustments did you have to make to your game plan after you found out that Kuzmanic really wasn't going to do much in this game? You know, she you know, she had a bunch of assists and she was getting that done, but it, it was uh, you know I thought we had some stuff working inside. Michelle had, had a good game going, and uh, Christy scored a little bit, and I thought if we were we were hoping to keep that going. But then they started taking that away too, and we just didn't. I mean, we were, you know, if you try to simplify things a little bit, I mean, it was, it, neither team was really out of this world at shooting the three, but you had the two best teams in the country in three point percentage, and we shot three for 11, and they shot seven for 18. So we didn't, if we make a few of those, maybe that takes a little heat off and lets these guys keep playing inside. But it just, you know, we, you know, we couldn't get it all going at the same time. We got a little here and then, you know, a little bit there. But, you know, their defense was pretty good tonight. Michelle, what was your feeling coming? What was your feeling tonight coming into this game? I think you had a great chance. And what was your? What did you have to do to prepare individually for this game? I mean, I definitely feel like we had a chance. I never feel like we don't have a chance. So, I mean, we came in with high hopes. I mean, I really thought we could have made it to the, as far as we wanted to go this year. But um, for just preparing for the game, I thought we were really well prepared and we knew what they were going to do. But then when it just came down to it, um, we just didn't execute as good as they did. So. What has this program meant to you over the last four years? Being leading scorer tonight, having a great season all year, maybe your best in your entire career. What has this meant to you? Um, it's meant a lot because I've really used this program to grow over my four years in college. So It's been pretty good to me. Coach, uh, congratulations, first of all, making this a fun tournament. Uh, what are some positive takeaways you're going to use for next year, and what are some things you're going to work on? You know, it's a, you know, it's a, a situation where, as a coach, you know, you always, you know, you need to stop for a second and kind of appreciate what just happened. And, and that, I'm not saying that's not a fair question, but you know, I, you know, coaches go day to day. And you just want to get to the, you, what's next, next game. And obviously, I've thought that question about what we're going to do for next year already. You know, you think that you're always playing it like that. You know, you do want to stop for a second and really enjoy the five seniors we had and how what, how, what a great job they did for four years and this year. Um, and we've got, you know, we've got 
two returning guards, Kleiner and Quinn, who are good players, and the two big kids, uh, Han and Boardman, inside that are, you know, I think they've had, they all at times were pretty instrumental in us getting to 26 and 4. So, you know, that and, you know, the next group of kids. We've, we've been in a situation, I think, where now we've kind of built our program, I think, to a pretty respectable level. And sometimes there's, you know, it's really hard for freshmen to play. So there's some kids that are in the building now that will have to, you know, work between now and October to be ready so we can get back at this again next year. But it's, you know, you know we came into this and, you know, came into the situation tonight. And it's really funny because we've noticed as we went through the last couple of days of practice here. And I'm not really, I don't know if I'm smart enough to figure this out right away, but we practiced once. We had a shoot around. And the end of the shoot around today, we looked up and the scoreboard was set to Carthage five and DePaul nothing. And we sat there, you know, I think these guys figured it out. And it was how many points we beat them by two years ago in this building. So we knew going in when we saw the brackets that this wasn't going to be easy. And they were, they were, you know, they don't lose here very often. So that, that, that we, you know, we figured that one out. and. And obviously they had motivation. You know, I don't know. There's a lot of people that walk into this building and say they just beat, they recently beat, beat this team here. So, so we knew that was going to be tough. But it was, uh, you know, a challenge we wanted to take on. You know, we had a, the start we had. I thought if we could, obviously if we could have sustained that a little more, would have, we could have kept the game, you know, you know, right, in a, you know, manageable where we could have pulled it out at the end. But they were really good tonight. Thank you. Coach, you talk about. The start that your team had, and there was obviously a lot of confidence on your bench. Uh, you had a 22 to 19 lead, and then the pod closed with a 16 4 run, and it was a 21 8 as you mixed it into the second half. Is there anything you can specifically pinpoint that changed over the course of that run, or was it a, a matter of them just making shots and, and, con and converting on the offensive end? Yeah, we just we didn't get a lot done on our offensive end toward the end of the half. We kind of got stuck, you know, 20, we had 22, like you said, and we ended up at 26, so we were. Felt like we were stuck in that range for a, a good part of that last four or five minutes or whatever it was, and they started making a few shots. And then I thought Trees came out really aggressive in the second half and kind of changed things. And she got going to the rim and made a bunch, you know, got them started so that we couldn't uh, couldn't get stops on that end as easily. And once they got, you know, they again we came out in the second beginning of the second half. And you know, you always try to shorten the game into those segments and with the media timeouts you can get and get four minute segments and we were hoping to get through that first four minute segment and close that nine down and it, that didn't happen. Coach, could you comment real quick on each of your seniors and what they've meant to you this season? Yeah, I mean, you know, over the four years, I mean, Gabby was, you know, she's been, she's played in a lot of games that, you know, she started all, all pretty much every game last year. You know, she's, you know, was just a, a really good team member this year because because she didn't get to play as much or as many minutes and was still really supportive and really a good player that way. Um, you know, Haley goes down, you know, as one of the, you know, and I love statistics, she goes down as one of the top, I believe you'd have to see as it sorts out over the last few games, she goes down as one of the top 10 three-point percentage shooters in Division Three history. I mean, she said, made over 200 three-pointers for us. And again, the kid that, that grew over four years, the first freshman year didn't play a whole lot, Last three years, obviously, was a, a pretty valuable weapon for us. Um, Christy was, you know, she just, you know, sometimes her stuff doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look real pretty on the floor is how she gets her points and gets her rebounds, but she's such a, you know, competitive kid, such a strong kid. She gets, she just gets so much done. You know, she's 5'9", I mean, in the post that way, and she's still, I mean, a thousand point scorer and stuff. And, you know, uh, you know Stephanie was, you know, Last time we were in this building, she was the, you know, the sophomore that was kind of just kind of distributing the ball and staying out of the way of Jacqueline and those other kids, and and Corcoran and Ripke, and made ended up making the three that kind of put us ahead in this game here. So she, you know, she, and obviously she was the player of the year in our league twice in a row. You know, she won the Cosida Award that was you know the elite, you know, the top academic, you know, award in Division Three. You know, and so she got a lot done. Michelle was, you know, you know, we talked about, you know, there was an article in our local paper last week, and you know, Michelle grew so much, you know, 
you know, over four years, you know, as a person, but, you know, also as a player, she came in as a, you know, a really good athlete that was a really good defensive player and a really good rebounder, but because of her high school background, she played with kids that shot the ball all the time. Is that pretty much <laughs> true? So she didn't get to shoot it as much. So we got to got to a point where as she got here, you know, I remember the, I think it was after your freshman, uh, freshman year, and I told her, because she used to get the ball in the post and look to throw the ball back out all the time. You know, and I said, what do you, you know, we kind of got to a point where it was, all right, well, hey, and I kind of made a rule. It, it, and I said, if you get the ball in the post and you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to shoot it. So she became, you know, we kind of, she, she, she took all the instruction great. She t became more aggressive as an offensive player, which was just something she didn't have to do in high school and played on really good teams there also. And, you know, to watch that keep growing and, you know, she shot 60% for the year. I mean, it's, you know, that's top 10 in the country. And just, you know, so it, that makes you feel good as a coach, you know, their, you know, their parents do great jobs and they're great kids well, long before I get to, to work with them. But anything I can do to help them along the way through lessons learned and this stuff is, is invaluable. And I appreciate it. And when I hear back from them 10 years from now or whatever, I'll appreciate it more. But, it, you know, it's a special group that off the top of my head, I can't tell you how many games we won in four years, but it was a lot of them and three sweet six teams or two sweet 16s and a final eight and, you know, two conference chain, all that stuff that you could recite forever. But it's just, you know, five kids that stuck together, that worked hard, who were good friends and just, you know, had a lot of fun with this and got a lot, got a lot out of it, I believe.